Hi everyone. Um, today we are going to design um, a pneumatic circuit. Um, we are using this given um, sequence or a timing diagram. Sometimes we can be given a timing diagram or a sequence. For now, we've been given this sequence. It's A plus, B plus, A minus, B minus. What actually this it, it mean is that when the cylinder A extend it A plus, then cylinder B should extend it to be B plus, and then when cylinder A retract, it will be cylinder A minus, it will be A minus, when B retract, it will be B minus. So this is the sequencing. Um, the sequence could be from, um, um, transforming part um, could be for clamping so it could uh, the application will depend uh, but uh, for us now what you need to look at how to design um, the sequential um, circuit uh, in pneumatic the next video we will design the electro pneumatics for the same um, application uh, please watch um, our previous videos here in the description if you want to know some basic things that we have already done uh, like designing um, drawing this circuit there are previous videos that can assist you to be in this um, level okay thank you let's start let us not waste time um, firstly let's uh, change this and make them say solenoid uh, sorry, your both side <coughs> solenoid and this one solenoid and on the right hand side solenoid. Okay, and then we can um, we can name this Y1 Y1 Y2 Y2, Y3, and Y4. Um, one thing also, just a tip, um, um, as we are designing this, as if you have these centers, we'll have these centers. So now we are having four centers here. These are four centers. When you have four centers, in other words, you must understand that you should have four control valve um, that you'll be using. Um, so make sure you, you you understand this, you get this, because that um, uh, one of the clue that I can give you that. Um, for example, if it, uh, um, you have three cylinders, then you know that you'll be having um, six centers, and then we'll be using um, six control valves. Okay, let us, this is first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. And um, we can also design the may want for push uh, button to start the whole process and then we have this one it um it, it a roller with the return spring normally this is how i do just design the first one and copy paste 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 then this will help you save time a lot of time so, especially when you are working under pressure. Um, so, you know, remember that this is, should be pneumatic. It, it's not yet electro-pneumatics, just pneumatics. So, please note that. It's not yet solid, um, solenoid. Right hand spring here with the push button to start. Okay. 
and then here now this is very important to, to understand now we are trying to analyze um this circuit now we are say we we want to extend uh, this cylinder um, this cylinder and this one the first one this control valve need to extend um a cylinder a to extend a to be a plus so for us to be able to achieve this we look what we what is the last um um um, um uh, statement or the last uh, for for b the position for the second big um uh, cylinder so the second cylinder is b minus so it's zero so in other words uh, for us to be able to actuate um cylinder a to extend our center b1 should be high as you can see here um then we look at our b our b to extend a2 should should be true then we double click we say a2 a2 should be true now look at this carefully um i jumped this one on purpose so that i will try to design as this uh, sequence so that you can you can easily fo follow it so if b1 is true the cylinder a will extend if a2 is true cylinder b will extend and then now we are going back this is to reverse um cylinder a now cylinder a to reverse we need b2 to be true then this will reverse if we want to to reverse if we want to reverse b2 a1 should be true a1 should be true because a it will be fully retracted then a1 should be true to make um, our b cylinder to retract um, then we have a compressor and a compressor This goes here. 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 Um, this is how our circuit operate. First, and then this is A plus, B plus, A minus, and B minus. This is how we design our our pneumatic circuit using this sequencing. Uh, please uh, make sure you watch um, another video. Uh, how to design electro pneumatic circuits for the same application. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye